So the fact that they are playing Banks and I Drove You Crazy, I think I can give it a couple points because uh, I remember when this when her album came out, that's all I literally listened to for like probably that whole little season when that album came out. So the fact that Tyler Perry or whoever put together the uh, music and whatnot and decided to throw this in there, kudos to you. That gave you a couple points. But where did we get this white girl from? Her face looks like one of those old classic witches. And I don't mean to say that to be mean, but it seems like, I don't know, she was a little too wibble wobbly to me. I don't know. And I'm not really impressed with this movie thus far. This is my part two of uh, Tyler Perry's Mia Copa on Netflix. I'm about an hour and six minutes in and I am already kind of bored with it. A fair amount of this movie, a fair chunk of this movie um, is pretty slow. And of course, we can't have the whole movie just action packed. But I'm just not impressed with Zaire. Like, I mean, in my opinion, he's not all that fine. In my opinion, the way he carry himself is not all that sexy to me. And I mean, um, I feel like if anything, she need to go and have an affair with her partner. The dude that's in Mexico and working on the case with her. That's the person that she need to be trying to check on and see about. Zaire, no. Like, his whole little thing of him just fucking people and being so promiscuous and this, this club that's in his crib and all of this. Yeah, that's cool and all, but if I'm supposed to be representing you and I'm supposed to be taking you seriously, why are you trying to pretend like we in sex in the city and I am about to be your carry? I'm trying to make sure you're not going to jail, motherfucker, and you just bullshitting this whole thing. Like, Mia knows what she's getting herself into. Mia is playing on the edge. That's why we find her back up into this man's crib, making the white chick exit. Hmm. Hmm. Not impressed. 